Now we're ready for transaction H. On May 19th, the company billed customers for delivery services rendered $5,500. Now remember, rendered means performed. So the company performed some delivery services and billed the customers. Notice it says that they billed the customers. It does not say that the customers paid yet. So what do we record if we bill a customer but they do not pay us yet? We have to record accounts receivable because we will receive their payment from them in the future. And then what's the other account? Well, we performed a service. So what is the revenue account that this company has on their chart of accounts? Delivery fees earned. But let's start with accounts receivable. So which category does accounts receivable belong to? Assets, liabilities, equity, revenue, expense, draw. It's an asset because it's something we're going to receive in the future. So it has a future value. And is our accounts receivable increasing or decreasing? It's increasing. They owe us more now that we've billed them and they've not paid us yet. And then we need to look at our accounting grid, also called the expanded accounting equation. And if accounts receivable, which is an asset, is increasing, is that a debit or a credit? It's a debit. Now, eventually, we won't list these steps one through five every time we do a journal transaction. We're just going to see the transaction description like at the top of the screen, and then we'll just have to do all this analysis in our head. But until you get to that point, you might want to write down these steps. It's up to you. So what did we say was the other account that's affected? Well, remember, we performed delivery services. So when we perform a service, we need to record a revenue. And the revenue for this, account, uh, for this company is called delivery fees earned. What category is delivery fees earned? It's a revenue. And is this revenue increasing or decreasing? Well, like expenses, revenues pretty much only go up, so it's increasing. We will learn in Chapter 4 one of the few times that revenue ever goes down. And so if, if this revenue is increasing, is that a debit or a credit? Well, the other account was a debit, so you know this has to be a credit, but that makes sense. A credit for revenue makes the revenue increase. So then we need to get out our journal page. Don't forget to skip a line between journal transactions. First thing we're going to do is list the date, May 19th. Then we list the debit account. Which one was the debit account? Accounts receivable. If you want to just abbreviate that as AR in your journal, that's fine. The debit was $5,500. Again, we're getting paid a lot for delivering stuff. And then the other account was delivery fees earned, a revenue increasing. And then we need some sort of explanation, build customers for delivery services rendered. Now, do you see anything unrealistic about this um, explanation? Something that is very important is left out of this explanation. It says build customers, so these customers owe us money, but does it tell you anywhere which customers we build? No, it doesn't. So in the real world, you're going to say which customer owes you this money. And we will, we will uh, get into that kind of detail later. So now we need to post this, which just means to copy this information over to the ledger so we can have uh, account balances. So get out your ledger in the form of T accounts. Here's the journal transaction. So we're going to post the debit first. AR is increasing by $5,500. And then we post a credit. Delivery fees earn, which is a revenue, increasing by $5,500. And then as always, the last thing we do, double check. Do you have a debit? Yes, $5,500 debit. And do you have a credit of the same amount? Yep, $5,500 credit. 